the hole yawns back at you, impossibly wide, a single tentacle burrowed through stone. This is an elithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this sitting beneath moonrise. For how long? And how deep does it go? Tread carefully. Move. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. The stench. I wonder how many pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here. Seems like a good moment to talk. Mm. No will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the Collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. We could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. Monster. Mon Down deep. One of three. One of three. Chop, chop. Help them. Become.
Let's have a look. So much blood. The Elithids take what's useful and discard the rest. An offering from Moonrise Towers.
indeed. Put them on.
into life, a mind touches your own. Alien and full of desperate need, but fragmented too. It is incomplete. It yearns to connect, but needs you to guide the process, linking each part of your mind to its like. Grand design. The restoration of the Mind Flayer Empire. The dream of all Illithids. Indeed, the Illithid Empire fall. I don't know. I'm just glad it fell. Have to keep going. Of many hearts, one soul. Bring death. Embrace death. Become death. You are the sacred hand that reaches from the grave. You are the lasher of skulls, the carver of prints, the dancer of bones. Walk in dusk and shadow. Walk the path of bones. Prepare the march. march this is his gap. blessing, his consecration, and you are his side. Go forth and reap. Secrecy above all. No time to dally. Just hurry this along. Ten. 
Shen. Time for bitter business. The light would fear to shine on. Descend. Gather yourselves. Soon we march to victory. <sighs> Lashes. Balthazar let one of his walking carcasses lapse from his control. Let's ferry them back. Wait! By the poem, Lord. It's you! I thought I'd never see you again. I wanted to keep you for myself. But they shipped you away. And you are aware. How is that possible? Oh, but what an arresting voice you have. You're not supposed to be here, special one. That's not right. But I don't want to damage you. You were my very first, after all. I learned everything about the parasites from you. I remember finding you close to death beaten black and blue on the floor of this sanctum. It must have been a few hours after the tadpole was placed in your skull. How you got here was a total mystery. But I stitched you up just enough to keep you alive, then placed you within your crib. I kept you as mine, until you were needed by our superiors. We had such a close bond. I opened you up endlessly with my scalpels and got lost in your insides. I was not behind it. I do not know. But whoever did it, I'm so glad they left you here for me. Truthfully, I'm not surprised to see you found your way back here all by yourself. I always knew you were clever. It has never been the same with another. All the other victims who come here just meekly obey. You thrashed. You fought. You were indomitable. But as special as you are, you shouldn't be swanning around here, acting as if free will is yours again. We're going to kill you, sweet one. But I promise I will stay with you afterwards. Lashes, bring this one back to my table and prepare my knives for a long night of experiment. Still on my feet.
luck comes easy these days. who half pieced you together after whatever caused your head to get in this mess. Someone else must have attacked you in the midst of whatever you were doing down here. This necromancer was a grunt in the scheme of the horrors enacted against you. That attacker is the source. In the heart of all these membranes, there was a dagger awaiting you all along. But from who? Mind flayers and civilians, side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Please! 
children. Look away. Look at me. You remember the shattered windows of Alterel's High Cathedral, the burning black sky of Avernus beyond. In its horror, the blood war unites you. Tiefling, dwarf, and elf alike huddle behind the shields of your paladin order, waiting for salvation. The absolute. When it comes, the absolute. this unity, the returned city, casts your people out, the devils who drag them down to hell. In the end, it is not your paladin oath that is broken. It is your faith itself. I wonder what the next move is. Da, da, da. The absolute. No chance. rest for the wicked, I see. Let's get going. Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. Every mind flayer in the room calls out hungrily from its pod, seeking release and sustenance. But there are others in the pods, those not yet infected, not yet illithid, terrified, desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority.
didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first, please, the others, the ambush. Tell me they survived. I do not. But if you know what happened, well, you deserve to know all of it. We were ambushed by cultists, yes. And then I heard her, their false god, whispering promises in my mind. I would be a paladin again, with a god's purpose, a god's power, everything I needed to protect my people. And all the while, the cult tortured them. They fought and ran and died around me while I imagined myself their savior. By the time I regained my senses, it was too late. I did not just surrender to the Absolute. For a moment, I welcomed it. Until I realized what I'd done. Perhaps I fought. I don't recall. Either way, I was deemed unworthy of becoming a true soul. I won't make excuses. I can't make amends. But I know something of what you came to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Ketherick is below. He thinks you're no longer a menace. Descend and show him how wrong he is. If there are any more survivors to be found, I'll find them and lead them out of this place. They have you. Go, my friend. Please, let me do this much. Poles, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. A cambium. By Grazit's cock, it's about time you came! Go on and gloat. Bow to your pretend crowd. All done? Good. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract Abbe Diabole et nunquam ready <laughs> I'll be damned you want to free the pup from his pact. And you thought that idiotic display would do it. <laughs> oh, bravo. Fine, I'll play your game. But I amend the pact. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, open the pod. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. 
It has two devices marked with a lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact... <coughs> Clause Z, Section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? We could be long dead before that long's elapsed. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Dead serious. Don't let the smile fool you. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta! Wretched thing. Pull your... Descend! Presence in your mind builds to a war. We've found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure, like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time. And you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. 
His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts with my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. I do trust you. More than myself right now. Perhaps even more than Mistra. I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down to stand by you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravengard, the Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. <laughs> Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? 
You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. is to die so that I might finally live. Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Repent? Would that even be possible? Perhaps. No. There is no repentance. No release. My debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... He is...
whisper mode. Oh, let's get this over with. Survival is all that matters. Swift as my feet can carry me. He's high. Roll in my favor.
vocês! Nothing will stand in my way. Let's cook with fire, baby. to do it.
I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. you must. Then we fly this foul place. Nothing left but ash and bone. It's the end to chosen mug as they could have. Ketherick's netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an Elder Brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means, the Absolute is a front for the Gods of Death, and our enemies are chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and with those stones and that crown, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination, the stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese? 
These Chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order, an order the Death God's Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Thinking on all that you'll learn. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bayonite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. You bet your ass I am. And I won't stop till that fucker is dead. feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long, and I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed, but after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete, I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. 
as luck would have it. We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep, Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Ha! Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sects are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. I had to look after him. Without him, I wouldn't have lasted long. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain, bound by lost Nethery's magic, with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. Extensively. Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Of course, falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. How does it compare to a Shadow Cursed Inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentholan's Dancing Axe. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders as well as give them. I should speak up. Thy hunger denied. Saluna's faithful yet shines the balance shifts. Thou hast seen with thine own eyes, and felt in thine urges. The dead three unite. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. I shall ask yet again, do illithids possess souls? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet. The three amass an illithid army, void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, O oh, tempted one? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, 
be availed of my services. Nothing thou dost not already know. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, Mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. Thaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend, once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Seems your ranks are quite packed. You did it. Catherick Thorne is no more. The Shadow's grip is broken. Soon, the land shall heal. just beginning again. Soon, this will be a place of sunlight and greenery again, with birdsong honoring your triumph. Nature moves at its own pace, and bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you, when you need it most. And the stone. Thanks for watching out for me. You lot could have tossed me back in the shadows. I would. May he. I have more to thank you for than I knew. And we have much to. I am. And I'm glad he's dead. But this is precisely what I want to speak to you about later. It'll keep. I promise. Very good. We look forward to it. Now! Anything of use? It's... like... like your mind wants you dead. I owe you an apology. I saw you as a means to escape, nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize 
for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in last light. <laughs> Gracious as well as impressive. A fine combination. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand Gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. You see a column of fire that dominates the sky in a blazing inferno. Nothing more. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand Gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in this city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. It's all coming together. I can hardly believe it. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. Whatever you might do to one cannot be worse than what the Chosen will unleash on all, and you are the one who could prevent it. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own, and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. to Baldur's Gate is west of the town. Again. If we hurry, we'll arrive before the Absolute's forces. Leave them be. Fair enough. With that parasite in his brain, Father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. 
We're fighting for all of Faerun. Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash, I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? Then you know loyalty, and you know what I did had to be done. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the Dragon Tiamat. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm, the first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I had Mazora at my side, and the Archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her.
He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. I understand. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst, and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. And I went and proved him right. A Grand Duke's duty is to his city. First and foremost, there would only ever be one outcome. I would not linger in this land over long, but whatever your business, I will aid you if I can. I wish we could stay and see what this place will be like without the shadows. I bet it's beautiful. No rest for the wicked, huh? Thy will, dost thou require a new... If Bowman says I'll be all right, I'll be all right. I just wish... I wish it was different. I wish Mom and Pops was here. I don't feel so strong. Or anything, really. Just tired. I think we've done rather a good thing here. A welcome change to give this land a sliver of hope amongst so much despair. The curse is broken and the shadows are lifting. In time, these lands will heal. Shadows are losing their grip on these lands. Shah can indeed be thwarted. Comforting to know. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. never saw myself as a banisher of shadows before. <laughs> I was always more of a lurker in, historically. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me... You severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. 
His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others, someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. about Salunite rites of passage, about how they would abandon their children out in the wilds and force them to find their way home. It seems that one child never came back. She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents. I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What do you do with it? That will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <coughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. 
But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me.